I just came down to the estate's rifle range. Just checked the rifle because I've taken a 306 barrel off, put the 243 barrel on. It's always spot on, but I just like to check it anyway. So today we're going to drive up to the Norfolk Broads, about 45 minutes drive for Chinese water deer and see if we can find some. We've got some bad weather coming in, so it could be quite windy. So it should be interesting. So we just parked up in the yard and um, just going to head down into the area. There's a Chinese water deer out there already, just come out of the reeds. So we're going to have a closer look at that. We've got the wind going from us straight towards the deer, so it might smell us and run off anyway, but we'll give it a go. It's a buck with rip, like a big buck with ripped ear. So we're not going to shoot that one anyway. So we've just walked down into the area. We've got a big horseshoe area of pasture fields behind us, which obviously have cattle on them in the summer. They've now come into the barns for the winter. And then to my right, so your left as you're watching me, there's the river built up in a bank. And then all the way around the river, there's these rushes sort of 20, 30 metres of rushes. So that's where the Chinese water deer are laying up and they'll just spend all day coming in and out of those rushes, feeding for 20 minutes, going back in, laying down, coming back out, feeding again. So what we'll do is we'll get along the edge of this rushes behind me to the very top of the horseshoe, then we'll be right for the wind and we can come round to my left to look around the edge of the rushes further around the area. So we just bumped another Chinese water deer out of the reed bed as we're walking up. We're just about in the top corner of the area now. But this is where it came out of. You see just the gap between the fence there. You can see where the reeds have been pushed down inside. So the Chinese just literally go in there, sit down for a bit, come out, feed on the grass, go back in, sit down again. And uh, obviously in there, out of the wind, it's a nice little warm habitat for them. This is like the perfect environment for them to be in. Probably the closest environment to their native area of China and Korea, obviously in the wetlands. Huh. Little bird's nest there. I don't know what sort of bird it is, but it's amazing how many nests are about when the leaves come off the trees and you see what's there. So now we're right for the wind, we're going to head into it, into the main part of the area. We can go straight across or we can head back down to the way we've just come from and we'll be right for the wind. Hopefully we'll start to see a bit more up in front now. Chinese water deer don't have antlers, instead they have large canine teeth that they use for display in fighting. Ripped ears among bucks are common as a result of fighting injuries. This is a good way to identify males over females at a long distance. See where the Chinese water deer have been running under the fence here, so they catch their, their hair on the backs on the bottom strand of wire. Obviously quite a number going through there. Chinese up in the far corner of that field over there. Nothing else out at the moment.
Well, they forecast strong winds and a drop of rain, and we've certainly got that, so good job we're kitted out in the right gear, isn't it? Chinese wall here sat down in the next field over about 150 metres away but it's staring straight at us so it knows we're here. We'll just try and edge up a little bit more and uh, see what it does. We've got one sat down in front of us and then over the other side of the field there's three so they're obviously just starting to move around a bit now. Remember the rut's on at the moment, so they're probably not too worried about the weather. Obviously the bucks will just be pushing, uh, pushing each other and the does around, so we will see something. So we've got this one sat down. It's only 120 metres in front of us. The problem is the Chinese will sit there and watch you for ages. You can't really like squeak them up or anything. They just jump up and run off. The problem with that is he's sat next to a fence line, so if it runs away from us, the fence is going to push it down. And um, the ones that are further out in the field will probably see it run off and it'll push those off as well. But we haven't got a lot of choice. I think we'll just have to keep edging towards it and see if it stands up and gives us time for a shot. The one we saw sat down, that just ran off as soon as we made a move towards it. Over the other side of the field, there was two or three more. They've now sat down as well, because they saw the first one run off. But we've now got a handy little clump of rushes between us and them, so we'll stalk over towards the rushes and just see if we can get within 100 metres and hopefully they'll stand up again and start feeding and we'll get shot one of those. going across this little clump of rushes in the middle of the field using that as cover and there was one sat in the rushes obviously looking at us ran out the back took another two with it which we were stalking towards One in front. Well, that all happened a bit quick. We obviously bumped the one over here. We then walked across to a little uh, clump of reeds, using that as cover to try and get onto some behind that clump. And there was a Chinese water doing the clump, so that ran off, scaring the other ones. Just had a quick look in the field next door uh, to find it's full of sheep. Um, and then the camera was just saying we needed a bit of luck. And all of a sudden, a deer just came out of the reeds in front of us and started walking towards us, 150 metres away. Looked like a buck. And obviously bucks and does are in season at the moment. And given the way the weather is, we're going to take the chance on anything we can today. So yeah, we'll go and have a look and see what we've got. Both bucks and does are in season from the 1st of November to the 31st of March. They rut through December, giving birth to multiple young, usually two or three, but sometimes more, throughout May to July. Yeah, so here it is. Hopefully you saw on the camera, uh, it was quartering towards us, so I shot it in the front of the chest. The bullets come out um, just beyond the lungs on the other side. Um, what we got is a, uh, a nice buck actually, um, sort of still fairly young, um, maybe two year old, something like that. Uh, so you can see the, the teeth on them here, 
which they do move a little bit, not a lot, but they have a little bit of shock absorption in them, otherwise they just snap when they uh, fight with other bucks. This one's got its ears intact, just a little tear at the top here in the corner. Um, the buck we saw first of all today had a big rip in its ear. Obviously you can imagine those tusks go into the ear and just take a big rip out of them. Um, just a nice really clean healthy animal so um, we'll get that back to the truck in a bit, get it grallic before we head back down the road and we'll uh, keep going see if we can get another one. water deer going from right to left in front of us in the next field so to see if we can get up close enough to it. Just run off. now the wind's picking up the rain's still coming sideways we're gonna bail out um, it's bloody freezing in the wind we've seen a few more water deer but they're just running around in the rut chasing each other like mad so I don't think there's much point in us staying here much longer and we're not gonna get great footage with the camera anyway normally I'd expect us to get a couple here easy but I think under the uh, conditions we've done pretty well to get one so hopefully it turns out all right on film and uh, get that picked up and taken back to the estate. <laughs> 